What's up everybody? I'm Sydney Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, The Last of Us 2 is near the last of its development. A new game where everything rocks. It's... And Black Mirror Season 5 creeps onto Netflix next month. Also, just a heads up, my shirt's really noisy, so I'm not going to be moving much today. Nothing. It looks like The Last of Us 2 is in the final stages of development. There's still no release date, but if you want to help move it along, Naughty Dog is hiring. Games Radar spotted a tweet from co-director Anthony Newman pointing out the many jobs posted to help close out the game, as he put it. The positions include animators, programmers, designers, and more. Anthony highlighted the melee animator position, promising the opportunity to work on dope animations, fellow kids. Experience with crazy strains of mushrooms isn't required, but might help, you never know. If you have cannibalism expertise, I'd probably keep that to myself though. Since closing out doesn't tell us a lot, it's hard to say when the game will be ready. All these new job postings indicate there's still a lot of work to be done. We do know that motion capture for Ellie and Joel has been completed, and we got a look at the new story and details at last year's E3. Guess we'll just have to endure and survive until it's done. Rocket Arena, a new three-on-three -three game from Final Strike and Nexon, was just announced. The concept is pretty simple. Teams of three blow each other up and nobody dies. And the only weapons are rockets. I mean, it is called Rocket Arena. It takes place in a world where everything is made of rockets. The Pixar guys are probably kicking themselves for not taking the Cars concept this far. The more you blast an opponent, the easier it is to knock them out of the arena. So it's kind of like Super Smash Brothers, but with the instant satisfaction of explosion. You can sign up for the closed beta on PC now, but at launch, the game will be available for both PC and Xbox, with crossplay being promised too. Huzzah! While this is the first project completed from Final Strike Games, the developer is no stranger to shooters. Studio members have worked on Halo, Doom, and Just Cause. There's no release date for now, but the closed beta will run from May 23rd to the 29th. A new season of Black Mirror is on its way, so get ready for another period of uncomfortable distance from your smartphone. Just three episodes will be released next month for season five, but we already got Bandersnatch this year, so I guess I can deal with that. Also, Bandersnatch was this year, that's crazy. But that still only totals to four episodes, which is a small amount in case you're not great at counting. Sherlock's Andrew Scott, Avengers Anthony Mackie, and Miley Cyrus will star in the next set of dystopian stories. I know they're dystopian for two reasons. One, it's Black Mirror. And two, my optimistic vision of the future is one where Miley Cyrus just lives a quiet, normal life away from my TV set. A trailer was released today showing that video games are once again a hot topic in the Black Mirror universe. The one clip showed what looks like a way too immersive version of Street Fighter. Black Mirror Season 5 comes out on June 5th. Watch it on your phone for extra levels of discomfort. And that's your Daily Fix for May 15th. I'm Cindy Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out the reveal for Rocket Arena. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things, everything else, IGN.com. Also, wait, do you see the problem? I don't know, see you tomorrow.